This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you by the That Sounds Fun Network. Today is Wednesday, April 12th, 2023. We'll begin with the reading from Scripture. We'll read from John 21 today. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you dressed yourself and went where you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. Then he said to him, follow me. May God bless the reading of his word. Friends, uh, good to be with you as always today. Some sports news. The Buffalo Sabres are officially out of the playoffs. And the Los Angeles Lakers are officially in. Different sports, but hey, we, we don't specialize in sports news here. Uh, all right, let's let's get to the news. Uh, a number of updates today. First, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee signed an executive order yesterday uh, that will strengthen the state's background checks for gun purchases. Governor Lee also called on the state to consider uh, uh, red flag laws. Uh Uh, The Republican state legislature responded in in ways that surprised many with openness to considering this after the governor's call. And so we'll see if, uh, if, if this has the energy to actually make serious headway in a legislature that has resisted uh, gun control measures, to say the least, in the past, but uh, but uh, certainly um, interesting to see the governor use his influence in this way and kind of box in Republicans in the Tennessee legislature, force them to respond to to his leadership on the issue. Second, another update. Uh, Macron, President Macron, is back in uh, in France from uh, from his uh, from his trip to China, and as we indicated earlier, facing significant criticism uh, to the extent that uh, a statement was released uh, by. The Elysee Palace, which is 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 the French White House, it's the home to the president, um, uh, that said that France quote is not equidistant between the United States and China. The United States is our ally with shared values. Uh, interesting the the need to sort of walk back and and speak into perhaps some confusion that was left by Macron's trip, not just in the U.S., but among uh, other EU nations. Poland's president speaking very, uh, um, not by name, but but very obviously distancing uh, Poland from France's or Macron's sort of Uh, concern about partnership with the U.S. or not wanting to be a vassal of of the U.S. Uh, And so uh, Macron continues to face domestic problems at home, now has created some uncertainty 
uh, some uncertainty among important allies of France. Finally, and this is an interesting one, and I'll admit, not an expert on the issues involved here, but uh, the long and short of it is that the Colorado River has been shrinking. Uh, It is a uh, nearing a real crisis that has developed over decades, and the Biden administration might uh, might be forced to step in after months of negotiations that went nowhere among uh, and between California, Arizona, and Nevada. The Biden administration has to consider in a historic, really unprecedented way, imposing limits on oh, the... Uh, uh, the water allotments that these states make. Uh, this is because if things proceed as they continue to, the river might be depleted to the extent that uh, it actually stops moving, what they call dead pool. And so the Biden administration is considering a number of potential approaches. One perspective might be that they They've sort of made it public that they're considering stepping in to try and get the states to resolve this themselves. Uh, But if not, one of the live options on the table is to uh, evenly cut water allotments by as much as one quarter among the states of California, Arizona, and Nevada. And so it seems, you, you know, this is one of those... One of those things that seems like a a kind of boring, you know, policy issue, you know, not too much of political intrigue typically happens at the Interior Department. This is very much the issue, the kind of issue that will affect millions of people across the country, and the political implications uh, are are significant as well. If this gets out of hand. All right, that is your news for today. We'll close with uh, with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge. You have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. Okay, friends, that's all for today. Thanks for listening to The Morning Five. Talk to you tomorrow.